Madison going for a knee bar. Or an Achilles lock. Jensen stomping on Wolvington's face. At this point, Wolvington's in trouble with Kyle Jensen mounted on top of him. If Jensen can create some space and start punching, he might be able to end the bout. Incidentally, Jensen is actually cornered by my broadcast partner for the evening, Sean Shirt. The two train together at Minnesota Martial Arts Academy. Some nice low kicks. Jensen executing a couple more low kicks. Jensen landing a nice straight right. Jensen unloading on his feet. Wilmington appears to be in trouble. Nice straight kick by Jensen. End of the round. Here comes Kyle Jensen. Cornered by Sean Shirk. Kyle Jensen's only loss was to Daryl Guthner, who fights out of Dave Manet's camp. Boy, Mike French is going to have his hands full here. Jensen's just such a hard kicker. Jensen's sinking in a guillotine from the stand-up position. French shooting in. Jensen with a beautiful throw, and now these two are back and forth. Jensen with the takedown. Mike French is cornered by Brian Eversole, who fights out of Indiana. Certainly got his hands full with Kyle Jensen on top of him. Jensen in the full mount on top of Mike French. French almost reversing. French trying to stand up and get out of that. Very scrappy. Kyle's now punching from the reverse mount. Very tough position to get out of. Jensen was hitting French with flurries of punches from reverse mount. French needs to scramble or he's gonna get you know, this is gonna this bout's gonna get stopped by Gravison.
Jensen now in the full mount on top of Mike French. Mike should look to hang on and try to get a ref restart or wait till the end of the round. Jensen looking to create some space so he can rain down blows. Jensen receiving excellent corner man skills from Sean Shirt, who will be fighting in the UFC against Benji Raddick. That's the end of the round. A good, fight, good first round between these two fighters. Jensen has got a lot of experience. He's a, such a good wrestler and he knows how to punch too. So Mike French has definitely got his hands full here. Yeah, but he put up with it. He, came he did. Back. He sure did. He almost got out uh, when he was mounted by Jensen. He almost got out. Kind of surprised he stayed with it when he was going out of bed. Yeah, he, he took a flurry of punches. Very close to being stopped, you know, by the referee, but it uh, looked like the, the ref thought that uh, he was defending himself intelligently, so. Okay, much more to come, huh? Yeah, these two, uh, I don't see any quit in these two. They both look to be in great physical condition. Mm -hmm. Lots of adrenaline. Yeah. Here we go with the beginning in round two, Mike French versus Kyle Jensen. Jensen going for a high kick, just misses. Jensen throwing a lazy jab out there. Let's see if French can take it to him. Jensen with the takedown and side control. French trying to muscle Jensen over. I don't think that's going to happen. And now Jensen in the full mount, right on top of my French. Jensen clearly in control of this entire fight, both rounds. Oh. Jensen just narrowly missed an elbow to the face of French. French needs to regain his guard and try to submit Jensen. Referee Graves and telling the fighters to do something or he's going to stand them back up on their feet. Neither fighter executing any real offense here. Jensen's in a, a deep, a deep mount. Still not able to effectively land blows on French. Looks like Jensen's got a, a small hematoma under his right eye. He must have taken a punch in one of the stand-up flurries. French 
has a very good defense from, uh, from being in the mounted position. He's, he's got a great defense. He's able to neutralize uh, the attack of Jensen. And there's the end of the second round. fight because what Mike French is able to do is he's, even though he's getting mount, taken down and mounted by Kyle Jensen, he's able to neutralize Jensen's attack. You know, he, Jensen's not able to finish him. He, he's able to, uh, he's able to uh, kind of body lock Jensen and uh, and, not, and pull, pull Jensen down tight so that Jensen can't uh, throw any effective punches. He's just throwing short rabbit punches. Looks like Mike's just wearing them off, though, too. Mike's just wearing them off. Yeah, you know, it, I don't think we're going to see Jensen uh, run out of steam. He's really well conditioned. I, I'm not sure. I think uh, that Mike French is not going to answer the bell here. So he's just, in other words, he's going to submit, and Jensen's going to win this fight. I think that's probably due to exhaustion. Yeah, he has a cut on his forehead. That's it. That's the end of the match. Kyle Jensen wins. By, by he had, he, I just I just had size and strength over him. That's it. He's a good pr competitor for his size, really strong. What's your favorite style? Uh, I don't really have a favorite style. I like training new styles and like training all the styles, so... Think you'll be fighting again sometime soon? Every fucking week. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good luck. Okay.